welcome back to Coachella. In today's video, you will be coming with me to do my grocery shopping, but with a twist. I'm only gonna buy goods today the exact same price as a pack of cigarettes in Australia. Cigarette prices in Australia are known to be one of the most expensive ones in the world. They are so expensive, I could literally buy a bunch of different other stuff for the same value as this one pack. So, this pack of cigarettes costed me $43. That's right. This is literally 445,000 in Indonesian rupiah for this one pack of 25 cigarettes. It's insane. So yeah, I bought this yesterday at the shop for the purpose of this video. How much is the Optimum Crash Blue? How much is 20? How much is 25? Twenty-five is forty-three dollars. Forty-three. Can I get the twenty-five? Anyway, let's cut this short and start with the shopping. Don't forget my reusable plastic bags. Lots of chili from here. I can't really eat my food without chili. My favorite aisle. I could literally spend a good 20 minutes just standing here. Wait, no. I want the spicy one. <gasps> Ramen! Don't sell! This is my favorite snack Wasabi please So these are my most recent discovery They are out of this world for real and apparently they are healthy too damn it i can't get it more than one though because i'll be over the budget they don't always have wasabi flavored one i heard somewhere that the best time to go grocery shopping is on wednesdays because that's when they stock the shelf full and they're gonna put everything on sale i mean they're pretty full shelf They're usually here. Wait, this is not bad. I don't mind blueberries. These are healthy, right? <gasps> not for long. Do people still eat cereal? I ate rice for breakfast. What a shame. By the way, guys, if you're looking for a healthy, vegetarian, or organic eater kind of grocery shopping, you have come to the wrong channel. Because this is what I've picked up so far. Nothing really solid. They're all snacks. Damn it. So this is basically my lunch, my dinner. Okay, I think the only thing I'm good at is making omelette. Me getting omelette. I'm the best at it. Let's get the free range ones because I'm not a monster. <gasps> Ooh, guys, Canberra milk. Canberra milk is probably one of the most delicious and fresh milk I've ever tasted in my life and I'm a massive milk drinker Ooh, hello! Full shelf! Remember six months ago? No, four months ago when we were all being stupid $4 and 
in this fake Yakult Shiva 280. No, not today. Okay, so I have about eight dollars more to spend and nothing else to buy. Oh my god, that looks so good. Too bad I can't cook. Okay, so almonds were on my list, but seriously, eighteen dollars. They're all on sale today. Okay, last one. A dollar fifty. Okay, I think I got everything. Let's get out of here. I can't believe I did it. Hello, I'm back from the shop now, so I'm done embarrassing myself in public. Let's unbox these bad boys together. So I gave myself a mission to get my groceries for the price of $43, and I spent exactly $43.05. Okay, so this is the breakdown. So the first one is this bird's eye chili. It's probably gonna last me a week. So that's four dollars and thirteen cents. Pack of me goreng. This is a pack of five for two dollars and seventy-five cents. Cheezels cheese box for a dollar fifty. It was on sale and it's already opened and it's gone too. These frozen nuggets or chicken dress tenders. Now for some people, this is probably just your snack. But frozen nuggets are my life. These are my breakfast, my lunch. This is my staple food, and that's for four dollars. It was also on sale. And then the home brand toast, just the white toast. Now I don't even know why I got this, but this could be my afternoon snack, I guess. This is a dollar fifty. Shin ramen. Oh, this is my go-to ramen. I love this so much. This is usually six dollars a pack, but it was on sale and it was only four dollars. And then wasabi peas, three dollars. A bit expensive, but it's my favorite. And then milk for two dollars and thirty-five cents. Nutella for five dollars. And then there's these eggs. I usually get a pack of twelve one, but I don't think I'll be making eggs a lot. In the next couple of weeks, so yeah, I just get the small one. I can make me goreng omelette with this yogurt for a dollar forty. Then I got these blueberries. I normally eat my Nutella with strawberries, but they didn't have strawberries today. What a scam! And they were for two dollars and ninety cents. And then we got sambal for two dollars and eighty cents. And last but not least, yakul. Now, upon paying, I saw on the screen that the total was only thirty-nine dollars. So I rushed back into the store and quickly grabbed this to even it out. So yeah, that all comes to forty-three dollars and five cents. And this is the comparison, guys. <laughs> This small pack of cigarettes can buy you food for two to three weeks, depending how much and what you eat. So I know that the Australian government has been trying so hard to reduce people's consumptions of cigarettes. Some say they are doing it for the tax, so you know they could get more money from the cigarette companies. But whatever the reason is, it's a job well done. When I first arrived in Australia in 2013. I still remember a pack of these was like fifteen or sixteen dollars, and ever since then, every year they increase the price. If I'm not mistaken, it was always around September or October every year. Obviously, there are like other cigarette brands that are way cheaper as an alternative, but like forty dollars is the average number. So according to the Australian Bureau of Statistics, since 1995. The portion of adult smokers has decreased from 23.8% to 13.8% in 2018. So that's 10%. Yeah? Not only increasing the price of cigarettes, tobacco shops and basically any shop that sells cigarettes 
are facing strict regulations from the government, banning the displays of cigarettes, tobacco products, e-cigarettes and their accessories. So they must be kept inside a closed cabinet. Employees have to check the IDs of the buyers if they look like they're under 25. So the legal age to buy smokes here is 18. The advertising of cigarettes and any tobacco product in Australia is completely banned. So not on TV, not on flyers, no banners, shops, everywhere is prohibited. And in 2012, Australia introduced plain packaging, meaning that they banned the use of logos, brand images, colours, all those motivational text on the packaging. So all of the cigarettes here, no matter what brand, they have to look like this. That's because the government believes that packaging is one of the most powerful marketing tools. Like, this is not colourful at all, right? So it doesn't promote cheerful, colourful life of a smoker or something like that. Smoking is also banned inside restaurants, bars, clubs, around public buildings, inside a car with children. And if you get caught smoking near a building within 4 meters, you can get fined $300. And if you get caught littering cigarette butts, you can get about $500 to $600 on the spot fine. And this fine will double during total fire bans. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let me just tell you guys, if you're about to come to Australia for the first time and you're a smoker, just don't smoke. Or best if you fully learn about these laws first. Don't cost yourself 6 million rupees after smoking one stick of cigarette. Because I can tell you these fines are real. This also reminds me, this one time I got introduced to someone and I was like, yeah, I'm Indonesian. And he immediately said, oh, I just saw that news about a toddler in Indonesia who smokes a pack of cigarettes in a day. But yeah, it's pretty bad in Indonesia. Anyone can smoke, there's no law against it. A pack of ciggies is like $2, $3 max. Remember guys, before you decide to buy cigarettes, remember all these things you can buy instead. Imagine all the snacks you can get, all the omelette you can make. $43 can take you a long way. Buy more groceries. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this because I had so much fun planning and filming all this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!